I never try sriracha. Ah, uh, it's spicy. From pad thai to french fries, sriracha sauce goes with everything, and it is very quickly becoming the number one condiment that everyone must have. Because of this, it's important to know all there is to know about this super chili sauce. So here are the top 10 facts about sriracha hot sauce. Sriracha! Sriracha euphoria. Sriracha. There is some debate among food lovers as to whether hot sauces are good for you. One thing we do get from this sauce is a little natural high. Chili peppers contain chemicals known as capsaicin and dihydrocapsaicin. These chemicals are what give the chilies their heat and spice, and are also the chemicals that burn when they come into contact with things like skin and eyes, which is why it's used in things like pepper spray. However, what capsaicin also does is it tricks the nervous system into to believing it's ingested something hot, and therefore the brain releases endorphins throughout the body, which give us a natural high, and leaves a lot of people in a momentary state of euphoria. And that is why capsaicin is also used in many pain relief products. George likes his chicken spicy. Sriracha in space. The final frontier. That's right, this tasty chili sauce has even been to space. To the International Space Station, to be more precise. Hot sauce. <laughs> According to astronauts, space does something weird to taste. Due to microgravity, the body's fluids realign, which can cause congestion and therefore can reduce taste by up to 70%. Then, of course, there is the actual state of living in the space station. Lack of fresh air, stinky astronauts and working equipment, all of this can affect the taste of anything. Gentlemen, why don't you tell the viewers what's cooking? That is why many astronauts have specifically asked for sriracha sauce to be taken with them, as the spicy sauce is apparently still tasty in outer space. So much so that NASA has been sending the rooster sauce favorite to the International Space Station for years. The Hoifong Food Company loves this fact, and if you visit their factory in California, you'll see an image of sriracha sauce floating in zero gravity. No advertising department. Hoifong Foods founder David Tran not only doesn't have an advertising department for his famous rooster sauce, but he's never really advertised it at all. What? Hot sauce. Tran wanted his sauce to become popular by word of mouth. In other words, why spend millions on advertising when people will sing its praises for you? I really like sriracha. When David Tran first started to introduce his hot sauce, he wasn't actually going for the mainstream masses. Bacon and eggs and hot sauce, man. I mix it like this all the time. Because the sauce relied on specific chilies, for which supply was limited at the time, Tran didn't want to struggle in a logistical nightmare in which he couldn't keep up with demand. What he actually did was target Asian shops around the California area, making sure he had a steady income first. By the 1990s, Hoifong Sriracha sauce started to become popular, and it wasn't long before a cult following grew around it. And today, it's one of the best-loved condiments in the world. Sriracha is not a trademark. What am I gonna do with my sriracha? Say one more hipster thing and I'm gonna shove you in your vintage bassoon case. It is surprising in this day and age that a company can release a product without going through a vigorous trademark or copyright process. There have been so many high-profile court cases involving such things. McDonald's has famously been involved in many copyright disputes over the years. Yet all of these issues and potential problems never worried Hoifong Foods boss David Tran. It turns out that he had no intention of copywriting the sauce, as he thought that word of mouth was better than anything else. And he was right. Sriracha. Having other companies like Heinz, Tabasco, and even fast food chains like Jack in the Box and Subway all use the Sriracha name, all it does is promote the Hoifong sauce, as that is easily the most recognizable version of this sauce. This car has so much Sriracha in it, we even christened it with Sriracha. Sriracha fakes. This is the Mandarin. I know, it's, it's, it's embarrassing. Hi, Trevor, Trevor Sletcher. In 2005, Hoifong Foods started to receive complaints about their sauce. It started out with a few, and then the complaints began to avalanche. What the customers were complaining about was their beloved sriracha sauce didn't taste like it used to. In fact, the customers demanded to know why they had changed their recipe, and some customers implied that the company had actually started to water down their sauce. I got a bad taste in my mouth out here. 
Obviously, Hoi Fong Foods had done no such thing, so they asked the customers to send back the source and they would investigate what had happened. It turns out that the bottles were knockoffs with far inferior ingredients. Hoi Fong Foods tried to find out who had made the sauce, but they had no luck. The company later received a phone call saying that there was a large quantity of Hoi Fong Foods products in a parking lot. Surprise! After some investigation, it was revealed that the products were more counterfeit sauce. The police discovered an electronic warehouse owner was behind the scam. He was arrested and pleaded guilty to possession of contraband. Some contraband here, but nothing to get in a twist over. This means war. As Hoi Fong Foods really started to explode with their sriracha sauce, they quite rightly needed to add a new factory to their expanding empire. So they opened a new factory in Irwindale. However, the excitement of expanding didn't last long, as complaints from the locals started to come in. The main problem was that the residents of Irwindale didn't like the smell coming from the factory. I don't know if you heard, but they were thinking of closing the, the plant. In fact, they described it as offensive odors that were making their own water, and burning the insides of their mouths and throats. The town of Irwindale got together and filed a lawsuit against Hoi Fong Foods with the Los Angeles County Superior Court. I mean, this thing is really freaking me out. <laughs> I feel like it's going to come to life in the middle of the night and kill me. The lawsuit dragged on for months, irritating everyone involved, particularly Hoi Fong Foods founder David Tran. During the battle, Tran expressed his anger by comparing the local government to communist Vietnam and then proceeded to hang a banner on his factory that read, No Tear Gas Made Here. The city eventually dropped the lawsuit, but the war didn't stop there. Eventually, the city was at it again and filed another lawsuit against the company. This time, the city of Irwindale was suing Hoi Fong Foods for nearly half a million dollars in unpaid fees. He stinks and I don't like him. The reason for this lawsuit, according to the city, was that before the factory opened, the company and the city had struck a deal in which Hoi Fong Foods would make a contribution each year as payment in lieu of taxes. While the company paid the first three payments happily, after the first lawsuit, David Tran didn't feel so generous with his money, so he stopped the payments. A year later and the company countersued the city, claiming that the city's original agreement was with a separate company, Hoi Fong Irwindale LLC, which was no longer the operation's name. We hope that peace will come soon. Windows are supposed to be bulletproof, right? The Vietnam War saved sriracha sauce, sort of. Good morning, we are not advocating war in any way here, but history is littered with inventions and discoveries that we use in our everyday lives that come out of the horrors of war. Canned food, glue, the microwave oven, and even the internet have all come as a direct result of war. Internet, so helpful and sriracha sauce could well be added to that list. Tran had a dream, and that dream was to create the Asian ketchup. His family owned a piece of land in Saigon, and they grew chilies. It seemed like the perfect start. However, because of the Vietnam War, the market was saturated and no one was buying chilies. So, being a resourceful kind of person, Tran decided to make his ketchup out of the chilies, and he sold them in used Gerber baby food jars. He didn't have a name for the sauce yet, but he did draw a rooster on the jars. The sauce wasn't a huge success, but it was enough to get Tran's juices flowing. Once the city of Saigon fell, Tran and his family suffered from the communist authorities as merchant capitalists were met with disapproval. So Tran converted his wealth into gold and moved his family out of the country. Many years later, David Tran gave an interview stating that if things had not changed so much, he would have stayed in Vietnam. It was a beautiful and peaceful place. We have to go back! It's all about the chilies. Unlike many other sauces and condiments on the market today, Hoi Fong Food Sriracha Sauce doesn't have a huge list of ingredients. That's because their sauce is all about those chili peppers. The bottle even looks like one, after all. No, the red body and green top of the hot sauce bottle is no accident, as Hoi Fong Foods are proud of their peppers and love to show it off. Made with fresh peppers, the sauce doesn't add any water or artificial flavors, only some garlic to give 
give it that distinct taste. Even though the recipe for sriracha sauce hasn't changed in years, the sauce is actually getting spicier. That's because the chilies they harvest are getting spicier with each crop. Santiago chili? Incidentally, the chili peppers used to make sriracha sauce still aren't as hot as the legendary jalapeno pepper. Can I please have a small cup of chili? Yeah, sure. According to the Scoville scale, which measures spice and heat in food, the sriracha peppers come in somewhere between 1,000 and 2,000 points, whereas the mighty jalapeno can reach levels of 8,000 points. Now that is spicy. Mm. It's spicy! The owner put a lot of himself into it. Was that all you? Of course That's a wild question for me to be asking. After fleeing Vietnam on a freighter named Hue Phong, eventually David Tran and his family arrived in the U.S., first in Boston, and then they moved on to California to conquer the chili sauce world. Not only is the company named after the ship that saved him, as well as the sauce is named after a town in Thailand, Sriracha. Sriracha. That's not helping. The bottle is also designed on Tran's first venture into hot sauce during the Vietnam War, in which he drew a rooster on his jars. Once in the U.S., Tran commissioned a street artist from Chinatown to come up with a design that was different from other food companies, but also had ties to the roots of the sauce. The trees are strong, my lord. Their roots go deep. Vodka. With the popularity that sriracha sauce has had over the last couple of decades, it was inevitable that the hot chili flavor would find its way into other products. Spicy sriracha! I'll give them a go. Hey, go. Come on, guys, get a bit spicy. As well as the famous rooster sauce, you can now get that sriracha flavor in a variety of foods. As well as condiments such as mustard and mayo, you can also get popcorn, chips, peanuts, pretzels, and even jerky with that spicy sriracha taste. Now sriracha has expanded into the alcohol market with sriracha-infused vodka. Even though the bottle is a striking red, just like the sauce, the liquid is actually clear like all good vodka should be. Kids. Get some liquor! The smell of fresh peppers and that sweet and spicy tang mixed into a vodka is proving a big hit, and we can see why. This sriracha vodka seems a perfect base to make the most amazing Bloody Marys. We'll drink to that. There's this sriracha plant. <laughs> Fall in love with more of our great videos. Just tap that screen. And if you're new to our channel, show us some love and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.